In this episode, we take a look at how this handsome young king has adapted in his new home and why these conservation efforts are so important in ensuring healthy genetic diversity in lion populations. Earlier this year, the Shamwari Private Game Reserve's conservation team released a new male lion onto the reserve. This release forms part of ongoing conservation efforts to ensure that new genetics are introduced to metapopulations of lions on a continual basis. In this episode, we take a look at how this handsome young king has adapted in his new home and why these conservation efforts are so important in ensuring healthy genetic diversity in lion populations. Due to habitat loss, lion populations have become severely fragmented, and this genetic isolation can be harmful to the long-term health of their natural genetic diversity. Lions are currently listed as vulnerable by the International Union for the Conservation of Nature Red List of Threatened Species. Lions have vanished from 95% of their historic range and are extinct in many areas where they once roamed freely. With wild lion populations estimated at around only 20,000 individuals, these majestic big cats need all the help they can get. And conservation programs like this help ensure the health of wild lion populations and that they have a fighting chance in regaining in numbers. As a male lion reaches maturity and is inevitably kicked out of his natal pride, he becomes nomadic and roam solo or in a coalition until his time comes to challenge the existing dominant male. Unfortunately, with the fragmentation of lion populations and the habitats that they are protected in, these males are limited in terms of roaming and accessing new territories to establish dominance and take over prides. Hence the introduction and exchange program of male lions between various private reserves and national parks. This program ensures genetics are dispersed in the natural way they would have, if not for the habitat destruction and the isolated populations which result from that. Shemwari Private Game Reserve introduced this new male lion a few months back, and since then he has explored large parts of this 25,000 hectare reserve and is doing extremely well. He originally came from the Addo National Elephant Park, where he had been roaming solo as a nomad for quite a while. Currently, the reserve is home to three main prides and various nomadic lions. The pride's main territories are located in the northern, central and southern areas of the reserve. As things stand, one dominant male serves control over both the northern and southern prides, and thus has a huge territory. But this dominance comes with its challenges.
constantly has to patrol his vast territory and leave any given pride open to take over at any given time. He has been the dominant male for the past few years and is reaching his peak. And this presents the perfect time to introduce new genetics that can seamlessly take over. The new young lion was originally released in the northern part of the reserve and has since then made his way down south and established himself primarily there. He has proven to be a formidable hunter, taking down kudu, zebra and oryx on occasion. There has seldom been interaction between himself and the resident dominant male, whom, for the most part, patrols and resides in the southern part of the reserve as well. But the status quo won't last forever, and the new male will eventually become dominant as the current dominant male ages. Another possible likelihood is that these two form a coalition, which would be an exciting process to see unfold. But for now, only time will tell, and we will be sure to keep you updated. If you would like to have an in-depth look at this guy's progress so far, check the links in the description below. Remember to hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications and if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Until next time, stay safe and see you soon.